former Northwest Ranger and Horn Lake High graduate Cody Reed. We're in Whitaker Bank Ballpark in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, first off, appreciate you visiting with us and just talk about, I guess, your, uh, you know, your experience here in, in your uh, first few months. Oh man, uh, this is a sweet park to play at. I mean, you see behind me, it's uh, it's pretty awesome to play. I mean, the stands are huge and fill up the crowd. It's pretty nice and uh, it's just. It's a big difference playing the Northwest. I mean, you know, you just got local students and moms and dads of the game. Now you got people from out of town that come just come and watch you play. It's pretty sweet. We had talked about it, you know, yesterday off camera, the different ballparks. You know, is this obviously one of the nicer ones in this league? I feel like it is. Uh, we have definitely the biggest stadium. I mean, we sit, I think we sit around, right around 10,000. All the other ones, uh, they can they sit about 6,500. I mean, that's more than what I'm used to, but I think we have one of the nicest ones for sure. Well, you can see today you're rocking a, uh, the kind of the blue and the pink look here. It's a breast cancer awareness game. You pitched last night. Uh, tonight you'll be, I guess, in the stands doing a little charting, so that's yeah. that's part of the job as well. Uh, we, we did a few like fan questions uh, that I asked for on Twitter the other day, so I'll just kind of read them out. And uh, The first one's from at Eli underscore Selby. It's, what's the difference between pitching in college and professional baseball? Uh, in college, you got, uh, you got the best high school guys that play in, well, I guess, junior college. Maybe not make it the D1 level, but Got all the probably the best high school players for Pitkins. Now you got the best college kids in the, in, you know, North America. I guess playing, you're playing against them, and they're all the best players. They're all their best players, and everyone's ten times better. I mean, their nine hole hitter is just as good as their, you know, number one guy. So I mean, it's a, it's a huge difference. I guess just a follow up question for me is, you know, instead of like power in a fastball past a guy in college, you know, uh, maybe you know in, in JUCO ranks now, I guess you gotta kind of like spot your pitches probably a lot more. Oh yeah, I mean. And my little joke I have is uh, the strike zone is a little bit just about as tight as a Cheerio. So, I mean, that's that's a big difference. And uh, the uh, the difference, I guess you can say, is just strike zone. you gotta you got to use all your pitches. I mean, I, I didn't throw an off-speed pitch in, in Northwest about about the third inning. I just right. throw a fastball. And now you got to mix up in the first inning, first batter. Right. Uh, the next question, a couple questions come from um, S. Harold 23. Uh, the first one's, what's your escape from the game? Uh, in other words, you know, what hobbies, activities recharge your system? Oh, man, I love uh, playing golf, man. Uh, just that's what I try to do before in the morning, wake up. You know, it, it sucks waking up because we get home so late from the games, but wake up, go knock out 18 and come to the field, and then you got the rest of the day. And that's one thing I do. I mean, we shoot hoops. I got like a little basketball at our apartment complex, and uh, me and my buddy Junis, Jacob Junis, he's a uh, He's, he's my basketball buddy, so me and him shoot hoops all the time. So golf and basketball is about all I got. Uh, to this point, who has been the greatest influence in your career? Explain. Uh, uh, I watch David Price. I mean, he's my he's my favorite guy. I love watching him. I got a little app on my phone that tells me when he's starting and, you know, his his ups and downs. When they let me know, I mean, he obviously he doesn't struggle as much, but, I mean, I would love watching him throw. He's one of the guys I look up to. I try to compare my, my pitches, my pitching style, all my mechanics compare him and uh, I just I mean I got family members that help me through the game I got ex-coaches uh, they help talk to me throughout the season and they're they're huge deal to me too. Well you did meet David Price as part of your whole uh, I guess you can call it recruitment process when you went through um, the different camps and stuff leading up to your draft day but uh, you mentioned you met David in Tampa when he was rehabbing so uh, you know you had told me the story before about you guys have the same music on your iPod yeah. which was kind of unique but uh, you're about the same size didn't you say he was a little bit bigger or yeah, smaller? Was, I think he had me about, about an inch but I think you know other than that I think about the same. I guess this question comes from Northwest. Um, you know, outside of the no-hitter you threw at Mississippi Delta your freshman year, mm -hmm. uh, talk about maybe some of your single greatest memories uh, in the Ranger uniform. Uh, well, first was uh, my, our freshman year we didn't make the – we made it uh, to that, that round with Hines, right, I think. Right, first round. And uh, we didn't get past it. But now, I mean, we made it to the state and went to the regional tournament. And the huge was a uh, uh, pitching performance against Northeast. I think that was at the, the state. And uh, we had Pearl, at Pearl River, I believe. Yeah, at Pearl yeah. River, got rained out in the eighth. I thought I was going out for the ninth. Had a shutout. I think I only had three or four hits out there, but we got rained out on top of the ninth, and I had to finish it the next morning. But that was a great one, and just making it with all those group of guys was huge. I mean, it made it worth my while. Uh, back to I guess Lexington. You're just curious about your your normal routine. Uh, you know, what time do you get to the ballpark? You know, you mentioned playing golf sometimes in the morning, but you know, walk me through a normal routine. Even when you're pitching or not pitching, just you know, what time you get to the ballpark? What what do you do leading up to game time? Uh, if, if I'm pitching, we get to the ballpark. Stretch. I'll pitch a stretch. Stretch up here about 2:45, 2:30, 2:45, something like that. We do our stretching routine. And as soon as stretch is over, all the pitchers throw, and I just go in the clubhouse and I sit there until. Uh, 6 six fifteen. then I start you know I put my iPod in I uh, put my jersey on I go inside uh, 
the strength coach, he stretches me out, and then I got the uh, the trainer, he'll do some exercises with me, and then I'll do my bands and all that, and then I'll walk out there about 25 minutes before game time, and I'll start throwing. Uh, the final question, I guess, is uh, it comes from a former teammate of yours at Garrett Blaylock, or at G Blaylock 7. Uh, how much do you make after taxes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll just, I'll let him know. I'll text him later on today, and I'll let him know. Well, we got a lot of people that, you know, keep up with you throughout the season, a lot that, that listen to the broadcast, also watch on the ML, MILB network. Uh, awfully proud of you, man. Hope to see you in the pros one day. Appreciate you visiting with us, and uh, best of luck in your next start. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you.